Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have different reasons to believe Donald Trump is a super creep for how the American president has allegedly behaved in the past with both the Duchess of Sussex and Princess Diana, claimed commentator Daisy McAndrew. Speaking on the royal box, Miss McAndrew claimed to have been told that Meghan Markley allegedly rejected an invitation to go out with Donald Trump when she was one of the briefcase girls on the American show Deal or No Deal. The Duchess of Sussex was supposedly told by one of her colleagues on the show that the then The Apprentice star Donald Trump was super creepy and had invited all the briefcase girls to go out. She said, apparently when she was working on Deal or No Deal as the briefcase girl, so we're talking a long time ago now, Donald Trump came on to publicize The Apprentice. And one of her fellow briefcase girls said that he was super creepy and started inviting all the briefcase girls out and that Meghan thought he was a creep and decided not to go. Now, it could well be a totally made-up story and I'm not saying that I know it's true. But it adds a bit of color. The political journalist added that equally, Prince Harry could have a reason of his own to think exactly the same of the US president. She explained TV presenter Selena Scott has revealed that Donald Trump used to bombard Princess Diana with flowers and invitations to meet. Miss McAndrew said, and then the other thing, which Selena Scott said, is that Donald Trump absolutely bombarded Princess Diana with flowers and invitations to meet. So there is a reason for Harry to think he's a super creep. Before joining the royal family Meghan was outspoken about her politics. She criticized Donald Trump during his election campaign. The future Duchess went so far as threatening to leave the US permanently if he was elected president, which she has done. Meghan Markle appeared on The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore on May 4, 2016. She said of Trump's election, It's really the moment that I go, we film suits in Toronto and I might just stay in Canada. I mean come on, if that's reality we are talking about, come on, that is a game changer in terms of how we move in the world here. She also called Donald Trump divisive, especially for female voters, adding, I think it was in 2012, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number and with someone as misogynistic as Trump is and so vocal about it, that's a huge chunk of it. The President of the United States fired back when he was made aware of the Duchess's comments. During an interview with The Sun, he said, I didn't know that. What can I say? I didn't know that she was nasty.